Today, it's my first full day in London, and I can't wait to start exploring the city. And from Buckingham Palace to Big Ben to the London Eye, this was an awesome day. Let's head out and explore. All right, I just finished breakfast. I had an omelet, sausage, some scrambled eggs, and bacon, and it was really good. And now I'm heading to Buckingham Palace. So I'm gonna head to the Earl's Court tube station, catch the district line, go to Buckingham Palace. All right, I made it to the Earl's Court underground station. Now I gotta hop on the district line and ride to St. James Park real quick to get to Buckingham Palace. Alright, I just made it. I just got out of the St. James Park underground station. Now I'm heading to Buckingham Palace where I'm gonna see the palace. Alright, do I even need to give this place an intro? As you guys know, there's Buckingham Palace. It's just so weird seeing Buckingham Palace in real life because I've seen this a million times on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, but to see this place in real life, it feels so weird and it's really cool. So Buckingham was built in 1703 and King George III bought it in 1761 to live with his wife and he bought it because it was close to St. James Palace. That's why it was built. And so I feel like being next to the palace is a great place to clear something up that I hear a lot is people think that England, Great Britain, and the UK are all the same thing. They're not. So right now I'm in all three because I'm in England, the UK, and I'm on Great Britain. But England is one of the four constituent countries. London is the capital of England and it's also the capital of the UK. The four constituent countries are England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Great Britain is the big landmass that I'm on right now. So that's the landmass marked as the United Kingdom. That's what you'll see marked on as maps. The United Kingdom is everything. So Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, England, all of that combined. It's that's what all three are. All right, that was cool coming to Buckingham Palace. Now it's time to make my way towards Westminster, so I'm heading to the London Eye. But I made it to the Lead and I made it here in time. I have a 12:30 ticket, so I won't be going up there for about 10 minutes. But I probably won't be able to talk to you guys, so I'll only be able to film cinematic footage and filming outside. But we should get some good views of the city. I'm really excited to see the London Eye, and I just walked from Buckingham. It took about 25 minutes to get here. It was a nice walk, pretty calm because of the nice breeze, so it's not burning hot. Anyway, let's head up there. I'm just set. And I just finished the ride on the London Eye. It was really nice. It took about 20 minutes to go around the full circle. But you got really good views of London. You could see way off into the boroughs. And you could see things like the Shard, Palace of Westminster, Big Ben, the River, Westminster Bridge. So it was a lot of fun. And now I'm going to go ahead and find something to eat because I am starving. And I'm going to get some water. It's really hot today. All right, I just had some lunch. I had lunch at the Poly. It's an Italian restaurant. It was really good. Now I'm kind of heading back towards the Westminster area, but I'm also walking across Westminster Bridge right now just to get a good view of Big Ben. All 
All right, now I'm going to ride in one of the double-decker buses. As many of you know, that is a big icon of London, and that's just something you see a lot, so I'm going to go ride on one. I just rode on one, it was only like a mile, it wasn't too bad, but it was pretty cool because you get to sit at the top and it's so cool watching because it feels like you're driving but you're not and it's so cool to see that view, especially when you're riding across the bridges or seeing the attractions like South Big Ben, got to ride across the River Thames, so it was super cool. Now I'm here at Royal Festival Hall, just relaxing and walking around, seeing the city, taking pictures and enjoying. So right here you have the Shakespeare Globe, and what this is, is this replica of Shakespeare's original theater. So as most of you may know, Shakespeare used to write plays and used to perform them, and this was something where a lot of people would watch this. So this is a replica of what the theater would have looked like. Alright, here's Tower Bridge. Right now they're not doing any bridge lifts. Uh, the next bridge lift will be tomorrow at 7.30 at night. But there's Tower Bridge. You can also see Tower of London. Really nice view of the bridge, especially because it's golden hour. It's an awesome time for picture. Here is another beautiful view of Tower Bridge. So beautiful and it's busy on even at eight. Like it's super busy, lots of traffic. Alright, that was awesome getting to walk across the south bank of the River Thames. I really enjoyed getting to see that part of London, getting to get a feel for the city today. Now I'm heading back to Kensington, so I'm gonna head to the Tower Hill Underground Station, probably catch the district line to get back to Kensington. I made it back to my hotel. I just had a small dinner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed because it's late and I don't wanna be very tired tomorrow. I wanna be able to get up, you know, do stuff. So that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It was so exciting to see all the big things, go up to London Eye, see Big Ben, Tower of London, Palace of Westminster, Buckingham. That was awesome. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and comment down below what you thought of today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. All right, I just had lunch, I had the uh, I feel like being next to the palace is a great place to clear something up anyway. All right, so the palace originally was built in 16.